the fallacy of begging the question. Begging the question, also known as circular logic, is a fallacy in which one or more premises of an argument are based on the conclusion being proven. Before digging into some examples, it is worth clearing up a few points of debate concerning terminology. First, there is some debate over whether or not circular logic and begging the question are actually the same thing. Some philosophers and thinkers argue that the two terms are technically different, while others suggest that they are more or less the same. Personally, I agree that they are technically different, but I would also argue that the difference is insignificant for most practical usage of the term. For this discussion, I'll be using the terms interchangeably. Second, this confusion is further compl complicated by a misuse of the term in common language. In logic, begging the question is the logical fallacy as I've just described. But in everyday language, many people use the phrase begging the question to mean that something raises the question or brings up the question. This usage is incorrect, so I'll be avoiding it here. For this lecture, I'll use begging the question to refer to the fallacy, not the colloquial term. With that cleared up, let's see an example of begging the question or circular logic. Consider this argument. All birds can fly. Therefore, there is no such thing as a flightless bird. This argument commits the fallacy of begging the question. The conclusion of this argument is that there is no such thing as a flightless bird. However, this is based on the premise that all birds can fly. If you want to prove that all birds can fly, it cannot be based on the premise that all birds can fly. Your argument needs additional evidence to prove your claim. In this case, further evidence will conclude that this argument is wrong, and that there are, in fact, many birds that can't fly. In most cases, begging the question is more difficult to catch than in the example given above, because it is frequently based on a premise that is not explicitly stated. Here is an example. Jerry can fly like any other bird, so he must be a bird. In this argument, the conclusion is that Jerry must be a bird. One premise of this statement is that Jerry can fly, but there is another premise that is hidden. By saying that Jerry can fly like any other bird, this argument is based on the premise that Jerry is a bird. But the claim that Jerry is a bird is also the conclusion of this argument. So, because that premise is based on the conclusion, this statement is circular logic. A properly structured argument will consist of one or more premises leading up to a conclusion. But if any of those premises are based on the conclusion, then you are begging the question. This recording is by LearnAbit.com. Learn about science in 10 minutes or less with free audio lectures from LearnAbit. That's L-E-R-N-A-B-I-T dot com.